guys, Thunderbird here, and welcome to another episode. So first off, I do want to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel recently. I do appreciate all the support. Um, I've gotten a lot of great feedback on my channel and on my videos so far, guys. Um, it sounds like the general consensus is that everybody wants me to make my base in this cave. So that's what I'm going to do. As you can see, I've been working towards making it a little bit better and a little, little bit more like a, an actual house, something a little bit more permanent than what we had before. And last episode, we basically raided the abandoned mine shaft that was down below our base. I brought back quite a bit of items from there, including some saddles, uh, melon seeds. I did find an emerald while I was down there. That wasn't in a chest, but I managed to harvest that. Um, we have a lot of gold, a lot of iron ingrid, and then also we have tons of string, which will come in handy, especially if there aren't any sheep around. Um, I did not keep any of the spider spawners that I came across. I do know that somebody had suggested that in the comment section on one of my videos. The only reason I did not keep that is because I'm holding out to hopefully find a better spawner. For one, I really don't like spiders, and for two, spider the cave spider spawners are really difficult to grind on, especially since the cave spiders are so small, and they can also poison you. I mean, it may be easy for some people, but me personally, I'd hope to find maybe like a zombie spawner or something, and I'm sure if, if I don't come across one, then I will come across another cave spider spawner. I'd only assume I've came across maybe uh, 25 to 40 percent of the abandoned mine shaft that's down there. Um, we haven't gone through probably half of it yet. So I'm just coming up to the surface and I'm going to grab just some basic materials, some wood, maybe try and find some sheep, that would be really nice, and just check out our surroundings a little bit more. Uh, one thing that I feel that we haven't really done at this point is check out our surroundings very well. And there very well could be either like a, a temple or a base nearby. There could be a, a city or town nearby. Um, who knows, you know? And I don't. I kind of want to be familiar with what biomes are near us. Obviously, I'm in the winter biome now. I absolutely hate those. Uh, for anybody who hasn't seen any of my other videos or any of my prior series, um, the winter biome and I, we just don't get along. I hate the snow everywhere. I hate the fact that ice freezes, or excuse me, water freezes into ice. It's just a miserable biome for me. Uh, I don't have very good luck with it. And it probably is one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult biome to work with in this game. Um, so let's go ahead and sleep through the night real quick. I didn't realize it was so close to nighttime in the game. Otherwise, I definitely would have uh, slept before we went. And I'm sure that there are some items here that I could get rid of at this point. Like, I don't need any gravel. I don't need to carry cobblestone around with me or the sugar cane. Oh, my uh, my uh, crops that I planted, um, some of them matured there, and I got some wheat. Uh, that was pretty nice. So we're doing really well on food. And I gathered up some sand. Um, I'm just going to deposit the oak. And a couple of items that I made. I made a bucket, finally. Um, just in case we want to go hunting for diamonds, I usually keep the bucket to put water in it um, in case we come across any lava and then some shears because I'm hoping to find some sheep so that we can place some wool on the ground in our house. Um, one thing, you know what I'm going to do? And I'm sorry I'm running back and forth here, but I'm going to make a shovel because I don't have one. And I don't like to be wasteful of uh, my resources, so I'm not... Looks like I'm just going to do, we'll just do cobblestone, um, probably the best route at this point. Um, you know, a lot of the, the bigger YouTubers do a pretty good job with this, but sometimes I see um, some of the bigger YouTubers using like, I don't know, if you want iron pickaxes or even iron shovels in times that it doesn't make any sense. For one, shovels, I don't see any reason the shovel should be anything but cobblestone. I never use really iron shovels unless I'm super rich and I just can literally throw around my iron like it it just doesn't even matter. Maybe then I will but most of the time I'm gonna be using cobblestone. Um, either that or you know getting a diamond shovel may be worth it because it'll last so long but even then I mean you'd want to make sure that you have at least some sort of like armor set and a sword because in my opinion there are I mean even an axe is a way higher priority than a, a diamond shovel or an iron shovel um, one thing I did want to ask you guys 
was for some feedback on either uh, cool things that you have done in uh, homes that are located in caves or cool things that you've seen other people do in other series and um, just looking for some feedback on that uh, what are some of the coolest things you guys have seen done in a cave home I've only personally done one and that was on a personal world and what ended up happening was I found a town and I just moved into the town so I didn't really fully complete it and I really want to do this one because me personally I've seen some really cool stuff done on him and I uh, have played on a factions PvP server and this may count I mean um, I was the uh, leader in a faction PvP um, on a faction PvP server and basically we made our our house in a cave at one point it ended up getting raided it turned out really bad we had a really awesome farm down there we had a full sugarcane farm a huge and I'm talking massive wheat farm um, one of my buddies that I used to play with his name is uh, neon ninja he sometimes is uh, commenting on my videos so you may have seen him um, he helped me out with the farms and it, it was a pretty cool base um, unfortunately it was too close to spawn and it got taken out relatively easily but um, Primarily, you know, I do sky bases. I have a lot of fun with sky bases or just ground level homes. I don't really do the um, cave homes, and I'm pretty excited to do one for you guys here. And definitely would like to hear your feedback on some of the coolest things that you've seen done or that you've done yourself. So, right now, I'm definitely feeling lucky that all the sugar cane is around. That's really easy um, to grow. So, that's something that we're going to need a lot of. Um, especially later when we start enchanting items. I might as well take advantage of some easy sand too. I don't know if I'm going to want to make, you know, glass, but I can at least go ahead and plant my sugar cane on it. And I don't know if, you know, everybody knows this. I'm sure a lot of you do, but sugar cane does grow faster on sand. So don't ever try and plant it on, on dirt. Just go out, spend the extra minute or so find the the sand and plant it on there it'll definitely pay off in large quantities of sugarcane so tons of cows tons of sugarcane not finding any sheep or town I would really like to find a town or a horse or something I didn't bring my I didn't bring my saddle I'm gonna probably regret that I'm probably gonna find oh look there's a sheep alright let's get out our shears there we go. There's a couple of them. Yeah. Awesome. Four of them? Heck yeah. Now I'm rolling in the wool. How many did I get from that? Eight pieces. That was awesome. All right. I have a good feeling about this. I think there's probably some more sheep around here somewhere. I'm going to grab some of this... Um, this dye too well it's technically flowers but I really like the the red dye that you can make out of these red flowers so I'm gonna grab these too and usually there's tons of horses in these biomes but I'm not seeing any yet which is really kinda strange alright tons of pigs now I need to make sure I don't get lost I think my base is in this direction the last thing I need to do is to get lost I think I have a pretty good sense of which direction it was in although I am notorious for getting lost really easily in situations that I shouldn't I, I like to think that I have a really good understanding of like direction and sense of direction in this game and I do most of the time but sometimes I just get myself into really stupid situations where I get lost for no good reason alright so yeah it's right over there so we're good I'd like to find some more sheep but I'm not finding any a horse something well, there's some more sugar cane. May as well get that. It's kind of quiet around here. Almost too quiet. Uh, is this a is this a cave? 
Looks like it might be. I always like to check these just random caves because sometimes you can find spawners and stuff in them. I don't think there's going to be one in here, but we'll double check real quick because this one's pretty close to home. So if there was a spawner in here, we could easily turn this into an XP grinder. Oh, there's a couple of skellies. Oh. Oh, nothing in here. We'll go ahead and leave this cave lit up. That way nothing else will spawn in here. Just in case we ever want to come back. And I'm going to take out my bucket. Fill her up with some water. Water comes hand in handy so many times throughout this game. I never used to carry a bucket of water. And then one day I just had one with me. I can't even remember why I had it. And anyways, I've... I've found that it gets me out of so many sticky situations. It works as like a ladder and a means of transportation. It'll soften blows if you fall off ledges. It obviously stops uh, lava from killing you, <laughs> especially if you're digging. You throw it down really fast, turn it into cobblestone. There are so many uses for water that I never would have anticipated if I wouldn't have accidentally taken it out one day. I don't really see a lot of people always carrying it around, but that is something you will pretty much always see in my inventory there we go so heck yeah more sheep that was awesome by the way so glad I found more sheep now we're rolling in the wool well let's check it out a little bit further I'm kinda surprised there isn't like a town around here usually I find them in these like plain type biomes they're really easy to spot but I'm not seeing anything so far by the way, if you guys ever see anything that I've missed while watching this video, feel free to leave it in the comment section below and be like, hey, Thunder, you know what? At uh, 3 minutes and 18 seconds, you totally missed a city that was directly to your left. I will go back, watch that video, give you full credit for it, and um, we'll go visit that place or find that item that I may have missed that maybe you guys you know, watching my videos may be a little bit more keen on than I may be in the moment. Um, heck yeah, there's more sheep. Awesome. So I'm definitely going to make a, a sheep barn at some point. We'll just probably make a full animal barn. We'll just keep everything in there. Pigs, chickens, cows, sheep. I like to usually have a good amount of animals on hand because running out and finding them is just a waste of time after a certain point. Right now, since we're still pretty early on, it's a part of the journey. You know, I really want to explore the area still, so... It's almost good that I'm running out to find these animals because it's forcing me to explore the, the surrounding area. Unfortunately, there's just nothing here. Um, I may actually go back and continue in the abandoned mine shaft a little bit because I think that at this point we'll get more items out of there than we would um, you know, continuing to look for a town or anything else that uh, may be noteworthy. So let's go ahead and travel back home and then I'll deposit some of the items that we have. Maybe I'll lay down some of this wool too. Um, we'll dye some of it red and I'll put it probably around our bed area. So I know that there are not very many dyes in the game um, at this point. I mean there's a good amount but there's not a lot by any means. What is your guys' favorite color to dye items? Mine is probably the navy blue or the light blue that's available. I think both of those are really neat colors. Um, the red is probably a close second and um, although they don't mesh very well for colors and um, you know I use them in different places in my home usually so tell me what your guys' favorite dyes are and what your favorite colors are. Um, let's see here so looks like you know I should probably go outside and we could plant some of these trees so I'm going to take those back into my inventory. I really have no means for grass, but I will keep it just in case. Um, so we have a good amount of wood now. And let's go ahead and dye this wool. We'll turn this into dye. And I'm just going to dye all of it, I guess. There we go. Throw our extra dye back in there. And let's go ahead and hit the surrounding... Uh, area here for my bed anyways like I said that's probably the best place to put it right now it matches the color of my bed so we'll go
go ahead and tear the bed out for now. And I probably should get this chest out of the ground. That's just something I did temporarily. And this is actually where the wall used to be. It was right up along there. So I actually expanded this, not by a lot, but by enough that the place looks quite a bit different to me right now. It's starting to come together just a little bit. I always like it when that happens, when places start coming together a little bit. Um, we'll go ahead and throw our bed back down a little bit more in the middle. And let's take this chest out. And we'll throw it... You know what? We'll actually put it over here, since I have a chest over here already. Put all the items back in there that I don't need to you know, keep with me all the time. And let's take the sugar cane back. Let's see if there's anything else that I should take with me. We'll take these melon seeds, some regular seeds, and then our hoe with us. And I think that that'll be good for now. We'll take a little bit more sand. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's see how many. 64 and 32. I'm going to need more than that. What was I thinking? We'll take all the sand that we have. Alright, so let's go ahead and make this place a little bit better. Oh, I didn't sleep through the night. Man, that would have been bad. Especially since the longer you stay in an area now, the harder it gets. I've ran into some really sticky situations with that so far. Um, there are some areas that I've been in for a very long time in this game. So on some of my personal files, I walk outside the door and get, like, showered with arrows from skeletons. I can't walk outside my door two feet without creepers, like, right on my ass. It's pretty bad. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice. Nice and uh, bright out. I love it. Okay. So I guess we'll just keep expanding. Oh, stupid zombie. I thought that was one of those really small ones. Those are the absolute worst enemy in this game. Even worse than creepers, in my opinion, and everything else. And I die from creep creepers, like, a lot. So to say that is, uh, is a pretty big hatred towards those mini zombies. Let's just say that. All right, so the idea here is to just keep things really simple. I'm just going to do rows like this. And I'll expand it out um, as far as I can in one direction, as long as water's touching it, obviously. And then we'll just throw a sugar cane down in individual rows. So I may have to dig some of this out, and I may have to fill in some water in some areas. I don't know if I will or not, but it looks like I possibly will. Like for right now, we'll go ahead and throw this water bucket right there and go ahead and clear out all of this dirt there we go and let's see so this one lines up right here and this is going to be really good especially since we're doing this really early um, when we start enchanting items I'm going to need quite a bit of um, sugar cane so that I can make paper and eventually, having um, the sugar cane for things like cake and just having sugar comes in handy as well. So I always like to keep well stocked on sugar cane. All right, I think this is I think this is pretty good. Let's at least try and see how many how many uh, pieces of sugar cane we can get planted with this setup. I think we should be able to get quite a bit planted. Okay, so we got that full uh, 32 stack on. Now we just need to get rid of the 64 stack. Um, I can throw some on this area. So I'll need just a little bit more. So what I'll do is I'll just replace some of this dirt with sand. And we should be fine. Oh, that was a mistake. 
Okay, and let's just make this come out a little bit. And we'll actually just make it go clear out here. Oh! Well, that might not be the best option considering it's two. takes two pieces. But we'll do it anyways. I'll play ball. And then we'll extend it out this way. This is the one that we wanted to do because this is only one deep. There we go. Let's try this. We only have 37 more pieces to plant. And I know all of this is like really informal farming. It's not anything fancy or anything. So I'm not going for like fancy. I'm just going for efficient right now. I just want to get this stuff um, built up in inventory right now. And then later we'll go back in and I'll create, you know, really awesome uh, farming area. I have I make really good farms in my opinion. I really enjoy making them. And um, it's something that I like to come up with new ideas for all the time. If you guys have any suggestions for things, you know, that are pretty cool to do in caves as far as farming goes, let me know. Um, basically, I'm open to hearing all input that anybody has on these cave homes. Um, I'm absolutely fascinated with them right now just because it's something I don't do very often. And a lot of you, maybe you do them often and, you know, it's just a regular occurrence to you, but... I think it's it's a pretty cool concept, just something that I don't explore probably as much as I should. Now I know that I didn't plant all of that, but I'm not, you know, just for the sake of, of your guys' time, I'll probably do some of that off camera. And for the trees and the melon seeds, I'm going to hold off on that as well. I'm getting pretty antsy, and I actually want to go down and explore the cave a little bit more in the abandoned mine shaft. So we have... We have a pretty good setup to go down there for now to at least explore a little bit further. And what I found last time is if I go back this direction right here, it actually takes me into the abandoned mine shaft um, as well. So I wanted to light this area up a little bit. Oh, I don't have any torches. Oh, man, I thought that was a spider. Man, those squid scared the crap out of me. I'm so used to having torches in my inventory that I'm throwing dirt down in place of it. That's always where my always where my torches are. If you're wondering why I just did that. I always have my torches assigned to this slot right here. So I just did that out of sheer habit. Alright, so I'm going to create some more sticks because I think we're pretty much out of those right now. There we go. And I'll just go ahead and make this whole stack worth of torches. Um, and actually, I'd like to get some more, even. There we go. Um, we'll just make half this into sticks. And there we go. So that gives us a really, really good amount of torches to use. And actually, while we're at it, I might as well go ahead and lay some wood down instead of having cobblestone on the floor I think that'll look pretty nice as you're walking in there we go awesome okay so we'll just throw our wood down I wish I had multiple types of wood. I think I only have oak wood at this point. I'd like to do like a checkered pattern or something cool like that. There we go. That looks a little bit nicer. Heck, I might even do that up here. Oh man, I knew that was going to happen. I was just thinking that. I was like, oh, I should probably look down because I fell through the floor. Oh, man, that sucked. Well, at least I didn't die. That's that's the main thing. If I would have died, I would have been pretty mad about that. Oh, where did that guy come from? Jesus. Okay. See, that's sketchy. Whoa. Nope. Go ahead and blow up. Go ahead. And get it out of your system. Alright, I am definitely lighting this area up. Look at them. They're so thick. They're 
There's so many creepers. Oh, hey, look at all these. You got tons of iron right here. Look at all that coal right there. Heck yeah. See, this cave, this is an awesome cave as far as ores go. I've had really good luck with finding ores super easily. So I'm glad I'm making my home in this cave. Let's just put it that way. But I'm going to make sure this area is well lit up here because I am sick of creepers. And I definitely can't afford to have them blowing up my, my home right now. So we'll go this way a little bit. Can't pass up this iron. Easy iron. There we go. Oh wow, there's a lot right here. Bingo. Awesome. Oh, come on. I hate how slow you go in water. That is so annoying. Okay, well, we'll just throw a torch back here. One off to the side. That area is kind of dark. Right here. Okay, well, that should help out a little bit. I really don't have any dark spots now, so mobs shouldn't really be spawning around my home anymore. If they do, I'm just assuming that maybe they're coming from outside or something. And maybe coming downstairs? I don't, I don't know. That's the only thing I could really think of. Heck, we'll even throw a couple of torches in this area, too. There we go. Okay, so now i got to be careful because I don't want to fall through the floor again. I didn't realize that it was that thin right there. And, uh, oh man, I'm using my iron tool. Let me go make a cobblestone one. Make a couple of them at least. Oh, and I don't have any sticks. I put them in the, put them in the chest here, so i got to get them back out. There we go. That works out much better. And we just have a couple of more pieces to go. Alright, and we'll just go ahead and replace all this with wood. For right now, anyways. Eventually, I'm obviously going to probably use like wool or something cool um, besides, besides this. Because wooden planks, I mean, they're just kind of like a next step up for me, it looks like, in terms of flooring. But it looks really good, I guess. Um, up next to the cobblestone, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, put a piece there. Nah. Nope. Blocks the chest. I didn't like it. We might as well get some of this cooking. Okay, I don't really want to take the bread right now. Bread is something that I usually save for like later after all my meat wears out. So I get a good inventory built up with it first. May as well go ahead and fill that in. I think three or four is how many we'll need. See, what I want to prevent is just making it a death trap. I don't want to run out and fall into that hole and end up dying right in front of my house. You know, getting blown up by a creeper right in front of my house would definitely take out my door and then some. So that is not a situation that I want to be faced with. The nice thing about having those squid right here is just, I don't see them right now, but they give you this ink that they've been dropping. And it's just kind of like random. That's really weird because they're not, they're not there anymore. They've actually always been there when I walked by. Then the one time that I talk about them, they're not there. Okay, so. Let's see what we can do here. I'll make this creeper blow up. Oh, come on. Blow up. Okay, or not. That's your deal, buddy. Whoa! Hello! Jeez. Wow. I'm taking some big risks and they're not paying off. Okay. So I know the there's the, the mine shaft. Okay, so I knew the mine shaft was right around here somewhere. And I want to work my way down because I want to find diamonds really badly. Let's check and see what level we're at. We're at level 36, so we still have to go down some more. Which, over here, it went down pretty far, it looks like. There's some water. 
Let's go ahead and work our way down the side right here. Oh yeah, look at this place. This is a huge area too. Really good for finding diamonds in, by the way. Whenever you can find these really open areas down pretty deep into the uh, caves, these are excellent places to look for diamonds because so much of it is exposed. Look, there's some gold right there. Oh, I saw some diamonds. I saw some diamonds. This, oh, damn, creepers. Okay. Well, guys, I, I found some diamonds. We are definitely going to get some in this episode. I just got to make sure that we do not die. So let me go ahead and light this place up. And they're down here. See them? Right there? See them? See them? Woohoo! Diamonds, baby! Heck yeah! I'm so excited about this. This is really early. This is the third episode, and we already found diamonds. Now, in my last episode, I actually spent three and a half hours in between episodes searching for diamonds for the first time in that episode. So, compared to last time, this is like a miracle. The only thing is, and I'm, I guess I won't really complain, but there just isn't that many. There's just one diamond right here. But see what I mean by how easy it is to find them in these open areas like this? That's amazing to find it this quickly. There it is. All right, guys. That was pretty exciting for me. I'm going to check the surrounding area just to see if there's any more. Who knows? Maybe we can uh, strike some luck here and find even more diamonds pretty easily. So this I'm going to turn into obsidian. I don't really ever leave uh, lava exposed. For one, it's a hazard, especially for me. And for two, um, it just... You know, it's a good source of obsidian. It's really easy obsidian. I just throw up torches as I go because if you don't throw up torches as you're turning it all into obsidian, then it's really easy for mobs to spawn, and you obviously don't want that. Man, I'm pumped though. I'm so glad that we were able to find that diamond. That means that this area, this cave that we're in, is going to be a great place to do the series. Okay, let's kind of check our surroundings here. Kind of trying to keep my eyes peeled. So, again, if you guys see anything that I walk past or miss, there's some diamonds. All right, now this is getting pretty intense because I'm running low on health. Need to eat. I'm standing on top of at least two diamonds. I know this is a for sure deal. <laughs> and I know that there's mobs around me that are trying to kill me right now. So, oh, oh. Hey! Okay, Mr. Skeleton Man. Okay, whoa! They want my diamonds, dudes. They are definitely trying to get my diamonds. Well, this episode definitely picked up in pace. Um, I'll tell you, I was not planning to go and hunt down diamonds in this episode. But I'm glad that I did. Not only that, but look at all this other material that's around here. This blue lapis... Um, love it like I said this is my favorite uh, die in the game I really wish that I would have waited to die that wool now things just literally fell in line perfectly for me alright I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of the way here I'm gonna let that skeleton try and do his own thing because he could definitely take me down right now and I would lose a lot alright let's this is a hazard let's go ahead and put out some of this lava I'm using that as cover as I'm going. Oh, look, guys. I think that's a spawner right there. Oh, no, it isn't. Look. Oh, look. We found a warp area. Oh, man. Look how awesome this is. I don't score. Look at this, guys. This is such a major score. Heck, yes. I can't believe it. This is probably the biggest find that I've had in a series so far. No joke. This is it. Alright. Uh, the episode was about to end, but I think that I'm going to go a little bit further because this is more than worthy of my time and your guys' time. Uh, this is this is exciting, people. Very exciting. And look, uh, so much exciting stuff going on. Um... So I'm going to keep filming just for a little bit because there's so much going on right now. 
And um, <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments below of all this stuff that I'm consecutively finding here. I don't think in any of my personal worlds even the things have literally come together this easily. I mean, this is just like a miracle. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's crazy. Like, stuff never comes together this easy. And here it is, you know? I'm going to take advantage of some of this easy stuff right here. Like, this is all materials that I won't have to gather and use in the future. Iron bars is something that I use for my mob spawners. And I can't believe that we found that library, though. Holy crap, that is that has so many books in it. So I'm going to go and probably chop that down. Okay, we got some, got some trouble. Got some enemies. I'm running. All right, let's let's fake him out. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We are definitely gonna have to continue exploring this. Um, I have a really good feeling that there is a warp area in here. There it is. Boom. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You think you could stop this with just a little bit of... What are you doing, buddy? Huh? With just a little bit of... Oh! Hey, silverfish. Hey, chill out. What are these, silverfish on steroids? Jesus. Hey, stop. Chill out. It's got small man syndrome or something. Okay, so we found it. This is it, guys. This is going to go really fast. I'm telling you, this series will go really fast. This may be a really fast first season. Um, if this is how things keep going, this is very, very, very exciting. And look, diamonds, ender pearls, helmet. This is such a large score. I don't even know what to say. Um, iron chest plates, iron pickaxes, so much stuff that I literally can't even fit it all into my inventory right now. I'm definitely trying, and uh, I'm just, not only do I have the abandoned mine shaft to still explore, but I have this too. So this is like, amazing. <laughs> and look, there's some more emeralds. Now I just need to find, if I could find a town close by, I would say that this is probably one of the best places, this is probably the best place I've ever had a home, literally. Um, in any of my worlds, just things never come together this naturally. But, uh, I mean, this is probably one of the best setups that I've seen randomly happen in a Let's Play series. So, uh, definitely excited about this. Alright, so, what I think we're going to do is um, pick up in the next episode. So, I think this is going to be it for today, guys. So go ahead and rate and comment on my video. Let me know what you guys thought. Things got really nuts at the end here and we found a lot of awesome things. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the big red subscribe button. It's in the middle of your screen right now and you guys will get all my latest videos. Next time, we're going to go through not only the abandoned mine shaft further, but we're going to explore this place and see what all we can find from it. We're going to gather materials and hopefully get what we need to go to the nether. Until next time, guys, I'm Thunderbird. I'll see you later.